It's 849 this morning, and we're talking Wellness Wednesday now. Screening for breast cancer has gotten a major upgrade, reducing human error and detecting cancer cells as small as a strand of hair. This is especially big news for women with dense breast tissue, which sometimes can hide cancer. Megan Colorossi got a first-hand look at this brand-new technology. Welcome. This is our Sanosini machine, and this is the Sanosini. This is it? This whole thing is it. The results on most mammograms for 40% of American women is you have dense breasts. We can't see anything. A dense breast looks like a film across the breast. And it's kind of like you look outside of a window and you can actually see. But if the curtains are closed, you don't see so much. Basically, the tissue is dense and the cancers hide in that density. In the past, when mammograms were inconclusive, doctors sent women with dense breasts to have an ultrasound. There's been a couple of good studies showing that when you have a traditional ultrasound, human error comes into play. With traditional handheld ultrasounds, technicians have to read the results while they are performing the scans in real time. When you go get an ultrasound, you meet the technician, you lay there, and having gotten my own ultrasound, had my own breast cancer scares, it's scary with them. Now there's an automated breast ultrasound that could be a game changer. The Sonosini was one of the first people to come out with this kind of technology, and they upgrade it so effectively every year that uh, they're at the top of the heap in terms of diagnosing breast cancer. Mammography will pick up breast cancer at 15 millimeters. It's that big. Now the Sonosini, that picks it up as early as 3 millimeters. So how does Sonosini work? In a traditional ultrasound, you see living tissue. So you actually can see the architecture of the breast. You can see the lymph nodes that are active. You can see real live tissue rather than a picture of tissue. And the Sonosini does serial ultrasounds of each breast, 1,000 to 2,000 images of each breast. Everything is automated, and the technician error is removed from the Sonosini. The machine auto-corrects. Dr. Hall believes automated whole breast ultrasound has the potential to change the way we find and treat breast cancer. If somebody does have a breast cancer, let's not wait until it's gotten big and then give the patient radiation and chemo. Let's use the most effective way to diagnose cancer at the very earliest possible stage we possibly can. Well, that was Megan Colorossi reporting for us, and she also adds the scan takes about 15 minutes and costs anywhere from $140 to $400. It is covered by some insurance. Dr. Hall also says her patients have successfully lobbied their insurance companies to get coverage even mm. after being declined. So it mm. pays to ask. You know, certainly. I also want to say that um, men also get breast cancer, mm -hmm. so there's this fallacy that only women get it, but men get it too, so they can actually take advantage of this system. Early detection yeah. is key for them yeah. too.